incredible, incredible uh, asset that the city is building and we want everybody to come and experience the loop. Today, the approximate 100 mile loop encircling the city is one quarter complete. The loop is a shared use path with on and off road components. Mile marker zero is at the Big Four Bridge. Traveling west, the loop follows the river walk through Lannan Park and past the locks. The river walk goes through Portland Wharf Park and along the river to Shawnee Golf Course. However, this section is temporarily closed due to bank erosion repairs. A detour at 31st Street takes loop users onto Northwestern Parkway to the Shawnee Golf Course, through Shawnee Park, past Chickasaw Park, and then onto Southwestern and Algonquin Parkways, eventually turning south onto 41st Street to Bells Lane. There, loop users will enter another off-road section all the way to Campground Road. The loop continues on Campground Road to Lee's Lane, where it turns right and joins the levee and the levee trail. This section of the levee traverses over Mill Creek and eventually comes out onto Cane Run Road. The loop runs parallel to Cane Run until Riverview Park, meeting back up with the levee to Riverside the Farnsley Mormon Landing. A new section will extend to Watson Lane. The loop passes through five physiographic regions throughout the county and will be divided by color according to those regions. The completed section of the loop is in the Ohio River Valley physiographic region designated by a blue color on all trailhead and wayfinding signs. The next section as the loop travels across the southern part of the county will go past Jefferson Memorial Forest through the Knobs region, designated by a brown color. Next, it will parallel Pond Creek through the Shale Lowlands, designated by the color orange, through the Floyd's Fork watershed, designated by the color green, and finally up into the northeastern part of the county into the limestone belt, designated by red signs. Louisville Loop signs contain the Loop logo and have a specific design and look to help users identify their location. In addition, there will be mile markers at regular consecutive intervals along the entire length of the Loop to help users identify their location and keep track of distances traveled. There are a number of official trailheads and access points for users to get on and off the Loop, designated with signs displaying valuable information. Trailheads will have parking, restrooms, water fountains, and signs showing an overall map, identifying distances to attractions, on and off the loop. The rules of the loop will also be explained. Now access points will be identified by signs and the loop logo, but they may or may not have parking and will not have an overall map. Here's a look at the trailheads and the main access points on the existing portion of the loop. Big Four Bridge. 10th Street, Landon Park, Shawnee Park, Chickasaw Park, Riverside Gardens Park, Riverview Park, Farnsley Mormon, Watson Lane, Lambourne Boulevard, and Manslick Road. Here are some rules safety tips for loop users carry a cell phone, and be familiar with your location along the trail. Trail use is only recommended from dawn to dusk. No motorized ATVs or off-road vehicles of any kind other than security or approved maintenance vehicles are allowed. Please cite violators. No overnight parking at any trailhead location is allowed. This spring-summer will mark the first big promotion of the trail, encouraging use in the existing Ohio River Valley section. This increased usage will undoubtedly require preventative patrolling and a greater knowledge of how to access the loop in order to respond to incidents. Within the next year, outdoor freestanding cell phone emergency call box towers with pre-programmed contact or metro safe will be placed at each trailhead and at certain trail access points. Please be familiar with the location of these call boxes. We, we hope, hope you, you have, have a better, better understanding, understanding of the Louisville, Louisville Loop. Loop. It's very exciting and it's a huge legacy. We you know, look forward to the time when our kids and grandkids and their kids will be able to, to uh, explore our community using the Louisville Loop. The legacy of the Louisville Loop is how it pulls together the very different parts of this community. The Loop with the Olmstead Parkways, 
um, unites the community in a way that's never been able to be united before. We get to visit as neighbors, we get to see how each other lives. Now it's our time to work together to preserve, protect, and connect future generations to a greener, healthier community.